awesome packing for the journey across the country from California to Florida. Next step was disc calibration for the disc brakes. So the instructions on them were absolutely terrible. And I'll show you what they say. So they had some writing on them that just didn't make any sense. It looked like somebody was trying to spell check it. But basically, you want to make sure your disc is not rubbing on your pads. And mine is not, so no adjustment needed. You want to tighten this down hard so you don't fly off the handlebars. side. This is on the wrong side of that, of this whole fork. I didn't do that. That came out of the box like that. I don't know how to get that over there. Pain. All right, when you install the handlebars, you just want to make sure you align these crosshairs up with each other so that the handlebars are good and straight and then tighten down your Allen bolts. All right, it's time to refresh. There we go. Ready to rock. Let's see if this thing turns on. Ah, 
hold that down for a couple of seconds and you're ready to go. We reflector on the back. This is the easiest part of the whole install right here. The easiest part of the whole install is the rear reflector on the back. Let's see if I can not screw it up. When you're born, you don't have very good dexterity in your fingers. You can't do anything. And I think when you get older, it reverses back to that. You just can't do anything like that. You think you should? Oh, I think this is working. I probably should put this up high. Uh, oh, yeah, I did screw it up. The easiest thing on the whole bike is the rear reflector. And yeah, I screwed up. Oh, my son's calling me. What's up, Sammy? What's up, man? What's going on? What? Okay, that sounds like fun. And um just to install the pedals, pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure the the right is on the right and the left is on the left. And tighten it down. Installing the uh, front headlight assembly is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just uh, install it right there and plug in the red wire there and make sure that the, uh, when you plug in these wires, just make sure that the arrows uh, are aligned so you don't bend your pins. You'll see that. And then when you want to turn on this light, um, you turn on the bike and then to turn on the front light, you hold down the plus button for about two seconds. So one, two, and uh, there you go, light works. to the bikes. We have keys for bikes now. But I need to cut this off. Don't cut yourself. Alright. I'm locking. There's a piece of foam in here. As soon as it comes out. And then a piece of foam stuck. Lock it. Oh, see that? It locks. Okay. Pretty clever. Good to go. Push the button. Well, they even have a blue charge already. It's already on. Look at that. Blue top. Alright, I think that is about it. Charge your 
battery, start your bike, ready to go. So this bike by Velen Trek is a really nice bike. Um, we bought two bikes and we got $200 off by buying two bikes. They were about uh, $1,300 a piece and they have really nice welds to them. Really well made. Uh, they're not light. Definitely have some weight to them. Probably, uh, they're probably about uh, 60 pounds or so. Um, but uh, they really ride well. Um, we got a nice control panel here. Uh, you can take it up to five levels of assist. Fifth being, you don't need a pedal at all. Uh, goes about 20, 20 to 21 miles an hour with on five, no assist. Gears run really smooth. Um, just overall a well-made bike uh, for the money. So um, I would definitely recommend buying a Velotrek. We did a lot of research and uh, this one uh, had a lot of good reviews. So. Happy riding and uh, enjoy.